Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you guys how to make more money with when you're clearing out your material storage. So you can see here we have some items in my inventory which I'm going to be selling. And I'm going to explain a few tips and ti tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to turn this into even more money. And these are pretty much going to be very, very straightforward, easy to follow ones. So Someday basically the first thing I'm going to say balance. is don't list everything at the first available price like you see here. The prices of items fluctuate Ideas wildly green, from week to week, to the top. And, uh, and also day to day. So what I would always recommend doing is listing it, at, listing it at a higher amount, that way you can catch it when it fluctuates to the high end. So instead of listing it at one silver 62 copper, I'm going to list mine probably at one silver 90 copper. And that's going to get me a decent, let's say, instead of four... I'm getting four gold, three silver, 75 copper at that amount, and inst instead of three gold, 44 silver. My word. I forget the amount that I was listing at. There we go. So the question, basically the question then comes down to, okay, well, how much longer am I going to be waiting for the item to sell when I list it at a higher price? And in my experience, what it comes down to is usually one week tops. However, it can be a little bit longer. So for this one, I'm going to go all the way at the end. I'm going to list mine for uh, five silver, 58 copper. Radiant Dust, I'm going to do the same thing. If I'm not mistaken, Radiant Dust breaks 10 silver some days. Because I've heard people talking about farming Radiant Dust and that being an insanely good farm um, these days. So this is an easy one. Look at all of the items here that are listed. Like this is the only quote unquote wall, 2,200. And every single other of them have like one to maybe a hundred, except for that one 800 that we passed right here. So that basically means one day somebody's going to just clear out all of these and they'll eventually get to mine and end up buying mine. So let's see here. No walls of over a thousand that I see, so I'll list mine at max again. So basically, I am scrolling down here and I'm listing everything more or less at max at what I can get for, um, well, max that this window shows. I can obviously list it for more than what this win window shows. And as you can see, there's quite a few in here like this, a 10,000 listings. That's going to be a hard wall to overcome. So I will list mine right before that wall. So to break down this method in an easy to understand way is basically what you're doing is you're checking the prices and you're looking for potential roadblocks, AKA walls that you'll run into. So when people are buying these, they're going to basically like right here, this is a, this is a roadblock. It's going to take a while for venom sacks to get over that hump. But once it does, then it's going to be a lot more profitable. If you know, you have stuff listed above. Greetings which I am actually going to do that because I have a feeling it probably will break over this wall. So this is a big oh, wall yeah, right here. This is a significant one, 10,000. That's going to be a while before it breaks through there, but I have a feeling it will oh, because it's a blood and bloods in this game usually sell for a decent chunk. There was a few 1,000 walls on that one, but I'm fine with this, selling it at max. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just, like you see, more or less every item I'm scrolling all the way down and selling it for the max amount possible. I don't see any walls. There was a lot up here though. Like this is a decent amount to break through. But that's fine. I'll still list it at max. The only, so here's the only downside to doing it this way. And that is if your items never sell because the like the value never gets up to I'm actually going to list this for higher the value never gets up to what you Greetings. listed it at and I personally at least where we like I'm not listing any of these at like 30 silver or something insane like that and this is a pretty big wall 10,000 that's a decent chunk to get over 22,000 that's going to be word. that's going to yeah that's another one to get over so I'm not going to list it above that I, I will actually list mine at uh you know what? Let's do it right before this one, the 22,000, because I have a feeling it's going to clear that 10,000 wall because it's basically right there. It's probably chipping away at it f from time to time. Let's 
4,200. So yeah, let's list this at max. So anyway, what I was saying is, the question is whether or not the items will ever get to the amount that you're listing it at. And I am, see this wall, 23,000, that's, that's an insane one. And my theory is yes, because first off, all of these items are currently rising in value due to the legendary armor being added and a bunch of other legendaries being added because they're all used for gift of, like gift of might, gift of bleh. Sorry, hiccups. At the worst time, always. <laughs> gift of might, gift of dust, gift of venom sacks, Someday whatever the fuck that I one is called. Establish my prominence. But all of these gifts are used for legendaries, and they are going to be created more now than they were previously. Due to the fact that each wizard vault reset, we are getting new legendary uh, kits. And also, the legendary armor is going to be coming out soon, too, which also requires these gift ofs. So this vial of potent blood, I'm actually not going to sell because it's used to make rift essence and I kind of need it. So as you can see, this one has a decent, a few significant walls. So I'm going to list mine at 38 copper. Should I save that? Yeah, I'll save this too. I usually buy those large claws, so I don't want to. I don't want to be selling them and buy them and then basically lose money. So I have a feeling this dust is going to be going up. You can see there's quite a bit listed. I have a feeling it'll get to that amount though because we need dust. Also, the one of the main reasons the Everything dust is dropping in price is because the uh, crystalline dust is also going down in price. So of course it's going to result in the ones prior to it dropping as well. There's no big big walls on this one. Surprising. I figured there would be. So I'll list it at max. And you may be wondering, I'm pretty sure I'm, I brought this up earlier in the video, but how long it will take for all of these items to sell. I am looking at maybe two weeks at most to sell basically all of them. And then uh, that's a lot of fucking lodestones right there. 27,000 at that price. That is insane. I wonder why. I'm going to list mine for like way above it because they're eventually going to go up. I'm not, I have no concerns or qualms waiting. So destroyer lodestones will list all of mine at 81. I'm pretty sure they'll get there. No problem. So this is basically a mix of offloading your materials and also speculative like speculating on what will go up, what will go down, and stuff like that. And I am kind of like doing a safe bet that basically everything is going to be going up in price because it has been going up in price and the legendary armor and stuff isn't even out yet, which is the main reason it's been going up in price. So once the legendary armor actually comes out, then things are going to get a lot more serious. So I'm going to list all of these two at max because, you know, Mystic Coins are basically going up and up and up. And due to the fact that they were removed for the daily logins, I mean, writing's on the wall, in my opinion, that they're going to be going up. Who knows where they'll stop? Couple gold, maybe? There's quite a few globs of Ecto for sale, but we'll, we will list mine up at max because they usually always go up there on weekends. It is early, early, early on a Monday right now, which um, is going to mean that the prices on the auction house we are seeing right now are some of the lowest that they'll be since everybody on Sunday listed all of their items before going to bed. And obviously, due to the fact that it's a weekend going into a weekday, not many people are buying stuff. People are, you know, only listing. Usually Monday morning is when the prices stabilize a bit more. Onyx lodestones, molten lodestones. No walls that I'm seeing. Excellent. No walls for the glacial lodestones either. And do I have any items left? No, I don't. So let's go back into the bank and see what we got. My and word. how long the video? Nine minutes? Ten minutes? 
that is more or less though what I have to show you for the purposes of this video. I mean, I'm just going to be going through the rest of my items and you know basically listing whatever else I got left that is worth money, because I'm in a I'm in a mood where I need some monies right now. But that's really all there is to it. That's Excelsior. how you turn your material storage into more money. You basically just list it for a higher amount and be a little bit more patient with yourself than you would have been otherwise. Because, like oh I said, God, if you list everything for the lower amounts, you're going to sell it overnight, yeah, but you're not going to get the most money. If you can wait, just wait like one, two weeks, you'll make more money. Which is basically all I'm doing here, is I'm just putting off, you know, how long I have to wait into the future. And, uh, making more money as a result. But anyway, that's all there is to it. Hopefully I this worry. video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave me a like, because that definitely helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Guild Wars 2 videos. Peace.